Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Bonsi. I am a registered dietitian, board certified specialist in sports dietetics, and sports dietitian for the Kansas City Chiefs. I provide sports nutrition expertise to both athletes as well as active individuals. One of the things that I always want to make sure that my athletes get enough of is protein, both from animal as well as plant sources. And why? because we want to make sure that we're getting enough of the amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. One of the ones that is critically important is leucine. Leucine is what we consider to be an essential amino acid. In other words, our body doesn't make it. We only get it through the food that we eat. Well, why is leucine so important? One of the major roles it plays is to help with muscle protein synthesis, or in other words, to help muscles to grow, as well as preventing muscle protein breakdown. In addition to that, leucine is critically important for blood glucose control, for wound healing, and also to promote growth hormone production. Well, what about during exercise? One of the things that leucine can do is it can help to prevent some of that muscle protein breakdown during exercise, as well as prevent the depletion of muscle glycogen, which is a storage form of carbohydrate. In addition to that, during strenuous exercise, leucine has a role to play in terms of recovery. Leucine, a sports nutrition advantage. So, when we talk about optimizing our leucine intake, what we want to make sure is that we're getting enough as part of every single meal. That's the same recommendation for protein. It's not none and then a lot. It is making sure we have some every time we eat. And the recommendation for leucine, again, from both animal and plant-based sources is 2.5 grams of leucine per meal minimally. So I'm gonna show you some different types of foods each item that you see listed here has 2.5 grams of leucine, but as you're going to see, the serving sizes are dramatically different. So let's start over here with protein powders. And what I have is a whey protein, pea protein, soy protein, and peanut protein. They're not all the same size. Whey protein, you get more leucine in it for a smaller serving than you do the other ones. Moving on to meat. Each one of these portions has 2.5 grams of leucine, but notice the salmon serving size is smaller than the beef, and you have to eat a lot more chicken to get that same 2.5 grams of leucine. Where else will we find 2.5 grams of leucine? You'd have to eat five eggs, a cup, of Greek yogurt, a quart of milk. And then some other places we find it in plant-based foods, it would be about 11 ounces of edamame, two cups of lentils, or eight ounces of tofu. All of these foods are great, but what is critically important is that we want to think about volume. Could you eat such a big volume at one time? Is it palatable? Do you enjoy it? Is it within your culinary ability? And is it affordable? So when we're thinking about optimizing leucine, we want to reach across the aisles. We also want to make sure that we include both animal as well as plant-based sources. Here is an example of some perfect pairing. I have a smoothie that is made with milk, Greek yogurt, peanut powder, and banana. This is 2.5 grams of leucine in this glass. And the other is a bowl. And in this bowl, there are lentils, there is plain Greek yogurt, and some shredded cheese. Again, 2.5 grams of leucine. So, putting it all together, leucine is critically important to help us strategize, optimize, and realize our goal, that perfect partnership of plant and dairy together helped us to create that great plate. Thanks.